In this tutorial for InfraWorks ICM, we're going to look at one of the more advanced features available with 2D terrain sensitive meshing. By default, a mesh is created using vertices on the perimeter of the 2D zone. The actual triangles that are created don't necessarily take any account of the changes in underlying terrain by the ground model. In this example we have on the screen, we can see that there is a ditch shown here to the right hand side of the 2D zone and clearly the meshing in that ditch does not necessarily take account of the steep drop in that ditch. We can see the ditch in more detail by switching our view to the 3D view and here we can clearly see the ditch and we can also see that the triangles don't change size particularly even though there is obviously a pretty steep change in gradient particularly along this edge. So, to get around that feature, we can use a function of InfoWorks ICM which allows you to actually take account not only of any vertices that might exist on the perimeter of the zone or any ver uh, voids within that zone and any vertices on those voids, but also to look at the change in slope of the terrain. And we do that by ticking the box here called Terrain Sensitive Meshing. And when we do that, the uh, little checkbox will appear and also the software will advise us straight away that the option has changed since the original mesh has been performed. Now I've already produced the mesh uh, with the terrain sensitive to save us some time so I can load that in automatically and what we'll see then is that the uh, terrain changes and we now have much much more small triangles seen around all the areas where there is a change in direction. So the mesh has now been adapted to that particular mesh, uh, to that particular terrain change. And if we zoom in on this central area that we can see here, we can see very clearly indeed that as we drop down into the channel and rise back out the other side, the software has used many, many more smaller triangles in order to more accurately pick up that particular change in terrain at that particular point in the model. This function is available as standard in the software, but obviously using it uh, as well as creating a better mesh will obviously increase the number of triangles quite dramatically. So anyway, that's an example of using terrain sensitive meshing inside InfoWorks ICM in order to take account of steep changes in terrain over the area of the 2D zone.